Welcome to Dynamics with Danish. Today we are going to look at a demo of a PCF control called Text Analytics. We are going to look at how to configure the control and I'm going to show you the demo of the control as well. To look at the code or to get the solution file for the control, you can always visit the GitHub page. Link will be provided in the description of the video. I've used PCF Custom Control Builder tool to create this control. Link to the GitHub page will be provided in the video's description. There is also a video of how to use PCF Custom Control Builder, which you can access on top right corner of this video. So let's look at the configuration first. In my demo, I'm going to configure the control on a contact form. On my contact form, I have two description fields, which are same. One will capture the text from the user. The other one will show the text analytics output. So I'm going to select one of the field and click on change properties. Under controls tab, I will add a control and then look for text analytics. I'm going to make it available on web, phone, and tablet. There are certain properties that are required and certain properties that are optional. The properties that are required are marked with an asterisk, subscription key, and endpoint are required. So I'm going to put my subscription key and endpoint. To edit the property, you can click on this configure the property button. And you can either use the value from, from a field or you can type in your own value, which will be a static value. The property detect language, identify key phrases, identify entities are Boolean fields. To configure them, if you click on configure property, you will have to bind them to a field or you can leave them blank. I will be binding them to a field. So this is how my configuration looks like. Once you have configured your control, you can hit the OK button, save the form, and publish the changes. Now let's look at the demo. As you can see, detect language, identify key phrases, and identify entities are marked as no, and the text that you have entered gets a sentiment score of 83.73, and 88.3 stars have been marked as bold. Now, to show the additional details on the custom control, if I select detect language as yes, then I would see the language of the text if I select identify key phrases as yes, then I can see the key phrases that were identified from the text analytics service. In this case, it is not available. If I click on identify entities, it will identify all the entities from the text. It also gives a wiki link if it is available from the text analytics service. In this case, 
Seattle and Space Needle both have a wiki link available from the text analytics service. So if I click on this, I would be taken to the Wikipedia link. If I enter the text with something else and I save the form, we'll get a new sentiment score based on the text that you have entered. In this case, the sentiment score shows that it's a negative statement. If I enter something in a different language and save the form, it will detect the score as well as the language. It will also detect the key phrases and entities for that new text as well. And that's it for today, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content. And if you like this video, click the like button and leave a comment. Thank you.